Hi everyone, in this lesson we are going to be looking at algebraic fractions and more particularly um, adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. Now before we begin, you need to have a good grasp of dealing with the normal numerical fractions. Algebraic fraction works exactly the same way except you've got the unknown, the x values or the whatever other values that they use. So let's get straight into this and begin with our first example. I've chosen a nice and easy one for you uh, to start with and then we'll uh, progress and look at more challenging ones towards the end of this lesson. Okay, so we have in front of us x over 4 plus x over 5. Now you'll remember from dealing with normal numerical fractions that you have to make the denominators the same. At the moment on the first fraction we have a denominator of 4 and the second one we have a denominator of 5. So we will start off by making them the same. Now you could look at the lowest common multiples of 4 and 5 and, um, and with any other denominator as well um, and then find out where they have the lowest common multiple. But an easier way to do this would be to just multiply one fraction with the other one's denominator. So here we can multiply this one by 5 and we can multiply this one by 4, giving us on the bottom 20 for both of them. Because 5 times 4 here gives you 20 and 4 times 5 gives you 20. Now, whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So for the first fraction, we've got x at the top as a numerator. So we'll multiply this by 5, giving us 5x. And for the second fraction, we also have an x. And we'll multiply this by 4, giving us 4x. Let me just change the pen color here. Now that we have the denominator to be exactly the same, 20 on both of them, we can just add the numerators um, across. So 5x plus 4x gives us 9x and we can leave our answer as 9x over 20. Very simple, very straightforward. Let's move on to the next example. So in this next example we are looking at subtraction. So we've got 3x minus 1 over 4 minus 2x plus 1 over 6. Once again, we, we can look at the lowest common multiple of both of these values um, and you can see um, that we have 12 or we can do what we've done previously, which is to multiply the first fraction here by 6 and the second fraction by 4. Okay, But because uh, we've done that already, I want to give you another way of uh, being able to do this. Both 4 and 6, the lowest common multiple, if you were to add these up, um, so if you were to find these lowest common multiple of both of them, is um, 12. Can you see here? So 4, 8, 12, and 6 and 12. So you can have 12 as your lowest common multiple. So how do you get that? How do you achieve that for both of them? So 4, you multiply it by 3 to get your 12. And 6, you multiply by 2 to get your 12. So if we can do that to both the bottom and the top, so the numerator and denominator here. So we'll get 12, 12 on this side. And for the top, we'll multiply 3x minus 1 by 3. So we'll do 3 times 3x minus 1 and for this one we'll do 2 times 2x plus 1. Okay so now we will just expand those brackets out so let's do that over here. So for the first fraction we have 9x minus 3 over 12 and for the second one we have 4x plus 2 over 12 if we expanded it out. Now I want you to be very conscious of this negative sign here because Often students make mistakes when they collect the numerators together. I want you to be putting this into a bracket like this. <clears throat> and the reason for that you'll see um, um, as we uh, collect the like terms together. So what we can do, instead of having two separate fractions now, we can have 9x minus 3 minus bracket 4x plus 2. And we can put this over one denominator because we will do that eventually anyway. Right Now, what happens here? Here, when this minus multiplies, or when you open the bracket up, we have 9x minus 3 minus 4x, and the plus 2 that's inside the bracket as a plus 2, as a positive, when it comes outside, it will actually be a negative. And this is the reason we use those brackets, just as a reminder to make our working out um, sort of solid and that we don't uh, make mistakes that we can easily avoid. OK, so we'll have minus 2 when it comes outside that bracket. And then we'll just add 
or collect the like terms. So we've got 9x minus 4x, which gives us 5x, and we've got minus 3 and minus 2, which gives us minus 5. So our answer would be 5x minus 5 over 12. So now we move on to our example number 3. Okay, so perhaps you can pause the video and try this one yourself and then press play again when you're ready to go through the answer. All right, so let's have a look at this one. So we have 2a minus 3 over a plus 2 plus 3a plus 2 over a plus 3. Now, previously we found the lowest common multiple. Um, in this case, we will have to revert back to the original way, which where we cross multiplied um, with each other's denominator. Okay, so um, we will take the first fraction here. Let's use a different color to make it more distinguished. So we'll take the first fraction here and multiply this entire fraction, the numerator and the denominator, by a plus 3. So we'll multiply by a plus 3. And the second fraction we will take and multiply by the other ones denominator, which is a plus 2. I don't know if you can see that yellow. Um, I won't use that yellow again. Okay, but it says a plus 2 here. Okay, so let's do that. So the first fraction, we will have um, 2a minus 3 multiplied by a plus 3. And for the second fraction, we'll have 3a plus 2 multiplied by a plus 2. And what we can do this time is just put them under one uh, denominator. So we can have a plus 2 multiplied by a plus 3. <clears throat> okay, so now what we'll do is expand <coughs> the top. Um, so we have two different um, brackets here. Um, if you need more um, assistance on brackets, please see my video on expanding brackets, which you can find on um, the playlist for algebra, or if you search for it, on the channel. All right, so let's go into this. So we have the first bracket, 2a times by a. So I'll just show you this here, just in case you don't go onto it straight away. So we do 2a times a, which is 2a squared. And then we do 2a times by 3, which gives us plus 6a. Having done that, we multiply the minus 3 with the a. So giving us minus 3a and then minus 3 times by positive 3, which is minus 9. And for the second bracket, we do exactly the same thing. So let's do that. 3a squared plus um, 6a plus 2a plus 4. Again, good habit to keep this in a bracket, just in case um, there were any negative signs. I know there isn't, but it's just for good practice, and we will continue to do that. And on the bottom, leave this as it is for now. Sometimes it's beneficial to um, expand the bottom bracket out as well. Um, but an examiner in this, in most cases, actually doesn't expect you to do anything for the bottom. So just leave that as it is. <clears throat> okay, so now we will collect all of our like terms. So we have 2a squared here, and we won't need to um, open this bracket up um, because all the values will stay the same because everything's a positive, there are no negatives. So we can just read from here and collect all the like terms. So we have plus 3a. So that gives us 2a plus 2a squared plus 3a squared, which is 5a squared. And then we have um, 6a here, oops, minus 3a, which is just 3a. And then we'll add another 6a to that. So 3a plus 6a, which is a 9a. And then we'll add our plus 2a, giving us a total of 11a. As for the numbers, we have a minus 9 and plus 4. So minus 9 plus 4 is minus 5. And then we can put that all over a plus 2 over a plus 3. And this is our final answer. So let's now move on to example number four. So we have x minus three over x plus two minus two x plus one over x plus one. Once again, maybe try it yourself, pause the video, um, and then press play again when you're ready to go through it with me. We will have x minus three multiplied by this denominator, so x plus one, and 
minus 2x plus 1 in a bracket multiplied by this one's denominator, which is x plus 2. And this will all be over x plus 2, because we'll multiply the denominators together, and x plus 1. All right, so let's expand the top. We should get x squared plus x minus 3x minus 3. And this is where that bracket is very, very important because you've got a negative here. So the entire second bracket, when we expand it out, we'll stick inside uh, another bracket. So that when we open it up again, we can deal with uh, the negative signs as they come out. So what do we get here? We've got 2x squared plus 4x plus x plus 2. That's all over x plus 2 and x plus 1, which we won't expand. We'll leave this as it is. Okay, so we will now again collect all our like terms, but this time what we are going to do is we are going to take out all of this, in fact all of them, because they're all positive, when they multiply that negative, they will come out as negative. So I'm just going to write that down um, for you. So x squared plus x, you could also collect these x and minus 3x here if you wanted to, but we'll do that all together. Right, so the second bracket, the minus 2x squared, uh, the minus 4x would come out, minus x and minus 2. So that, just rewrite this. All right, so now let's collect all our like terms. So we've got x squared and minus 2x, giving us minus x squared. Then we've got plus x minus 3x, which gives us minus 2x, minus 2x minus 4x, which is uh, minus 6x, and then minus another x, which is minus 7x. And then the numbers, we have minus 3, minus 2, which is minus 5. So our answer would be written like this. Now, if you want to impress the examiner or you want to impress yourself, what you can do, see this negative sign that is right here? What you can do is stick the negative sign like that and have everything as positive inside your bracket. You don't have to do this, but it is useful later on when you do uh, maths at A-level, um, writing your answers like this. But this is good enough for your final answer and to get the marks on an exam. Let's now move on to a more challenging question, okay? Um, in this question, um, you have x over x squared minus 16 plus x minus 2 over x squared minus 5x plus 4. Now, before you begin this one, uh, you can't just uh, cr um, find the same denominator by multiplying or cross-multiplying. And you have to factorize first. So we will factorize both of these denominators uh, because they're in this quadratic form. So the first one, you will recognize that you have a difference of two squares, which makes factorizing nice and easy because the square root of 16 is 4, and we just put plus and a minus. Once again, if you are struggling with uh, factorizing, you can refer to my video on factorizing quadratics, uh, which can be found on my channel. All right, so for the second one, we will use double brackets and factorize this. So we do we have, we have a four there? And you can use the AC method for this one, but I'm gonna do this real quick. So we have four and one, a minus, a minus. So now that we have our um, fractions factorized, um, the denominators factorized, we can now look at each fraction and see what the other one is missing so that we can just multiply it with what it is missing and get the same denominator. So if you notice here, on the both of them, they have x minus 4. So they're not lacking in x minus 4. Both fractions have x minus 4 in the denominator. What they are lacking is the other bracket. So this one, so this one, it needs an x minus 1. So we are going to multiply this one by x minus 1. Can you guess what the second fraction um, is lacking? That's right, it's lacking x plus 4. So we'll multiply the second bracket by x plus 4. Okay, so now what we'll do is multiply this one by x minus 1 and multiply this one by x plus 4. 
and that's multiplying the, both um, the top and the bottom with those uh, brackets. So we can put this all under one big fraction, okay? So the first one, um, the first fraction has an x previously, so we are gonna multiply this by x minus one, and the second one, um, we will, which already had x minus two, we will multiply by x plus four. As for the denominator of our one big fraction, um, we will just put down what the other one didn't have. So the second one didn't have x plus four, and the first one did, and the first one didn't have x minus one, whereas the second one did. So that will give us x plus four, x minus four, and x minus one. Okay, and this is what we are now going to deal with. So the first uh, bracket here, we have to expand. So we get x squared minus x. And the second bracket, once again, we will just put this into a big bracket um, and then expand everything inside that. We have x squared uh, plus 4x minus 2x minus 8. And that's all over the same denominator once again, which I will just rewrite. And then we can expand or take out um, the things inside this big bracket. So we have x squared minus x. And when we take this out, we have plus x squared. We have plus 4x minus 2x minus 8. In fact, it didn't change. It would have changed. I was meant to say if this had been a negative sign, all of these values would have been the um, different to what they were inside the bracket. Okay. So now let's, oops, one, one. Let's rewrite that denominator once again. Now let's collect the terms on the numerator. So what do we have? We have x squared here, we have x squared here, giving us 2x squared. Then we have minus x plus 4x minus 2x. So minus x plus 4x is plus 3x, plus 3x minus 2x is plus x and then we just have the minus 8 here and once again we'll rewrite our denominator and that is our final answer this is the answer to the question where we have simplified i forgot to write this for all the questions but typically this is what the question will say to you simplify these two uh, fractions i hope you've enjoyed that lesson and um, the next lesson would be on multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions. So stay tuned.